one of the things that I thought was really amazing, and it was, I thought it was a really honest thing that you said um, about your time working with Tiger, is you, you mentioned once that you felt like you overcoached him. Totally, yeah. What does that mean? I would say at that time, I was still too, methodo too methodological. And I think my original players that I met on tour, it was perfect for the, all of them. And I think that what happened was I underestimated. I was too arrogant. I underestimated really the, the state that he was in, period. So, I mean, he went from a, he went from a deity to a punchline overnight. Um, you know, he won five of his last six tournaments in 2009 and came back. And by middle of 2010, he couldn't break par. But nothing changed. Still had the same swing, same putting, same chipping, right? Still had Hank coaching him. So I think that that really shows that when you go from being invincible to visible, it's really difficult. And so I think I overcoached him in the sense that I thought a lot of the issues were technical more so than, than, where, than where they were at. But, you know, that being said, I could say that about everyone I've coached. I don't, you don't get it right all the time. It, it, we're, still, we're still very close. And I think I was there for him at a time where everyone was leaving his world and I was coming into it. And I was going into Desert Storm, I mean, literally, right? And I knew, too, I was going to be compared to everything he had done at 22 years old. So I, I kind of understood it was going to be difficult. But, you know, I was, I, I was there for him. I defended him. I loved him. I did my job as a coach. Uh, but um, I, I, I think, I mean, I think it's irresponsible to think if you could do it again. I mean, everyone's a genius when they can do it again. <laughs> um, I probably would have done it different. I think if I looked deeply enough at Rosie, I probably would have done something um, slightly different. But, you know, it was, a, it was amazing. I'm so grateful to be able to sit there and, and watch someone that close and, you know, be able to teach to all my young players, like, this is, this is how I conceive my dream in my mind, and then this is what I did to do it. The new podcast is out now. Listen, subscribe, review. Check it out wherever you get your podcasts.